Yo, it's Winslow, and this video I want to focus on women in drum and bass. Specifically just for this video, I'm going to go over 20 producers that I think you should know. Of course there's more, I'm sure there are a lot more, but um, through research, talking to people, I only found 20. There clearly needs to be, I think, some more representation and some more, I guess the word would be publicity for women in drum and bass. And I hope this, I hope this helps somehow. I don't know how to word that right, but. So this is me trying to use this platform, whatever it is, whatever you consider it, to show off some people I think we should know. So, uh, yeah, no um, order of importance, alphabetical order, none of that is just going through names I knew and then finding new and adding new names I didn't know. So, uh, also, there will be a written version of this whole list. So look in the comments. Without any further rambling, for me as usual, wouldn't be a video of mine without that. Let's get into it. So first off, we have Neversoft from Washington, DC. He's a really good DJ. He's signed to Audio Porn, which is Shimon, Shimon. I don't know how to say his name. I'm gonna mess a lot of people's names up probably in this. She's got really like a liquid, like a soothing, like liquid sound. I think very uh, soulful, kind of colorful, happy at times, you know, sad, just, you know, emotions people have. No, I really like her music. Um, that was in a lot of halftime. I think that's really cool. And yeah. Uh, next, got Callan HK from Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah, she's got releases on Ram, Program, Program, Viper, Play Me. I feel like her sound is very dance floor oriented, kind of, a, kind of like a big room DMB sound. Basically what you would find on Ram or Viper, stuff like that. Big melodies, driving bass lines, that kind of thing. Big drums, really like them. But if she gets techie sometimes, it's really awesome. Next on the list, we have Kyrist from Bristol. That's who's on the screen back there. I'm pretty sure we should, most of us are probably familiar. She's been outspoken about like the same kind of thing that women need more coverage in drum and bass. And yeah, kind of inspired me to do this list and everything with her career, UKF interview and stuff like that. But yeah, if you don't know who she is, well, she releases on Dispatch, Hospital, Critical, stuff like that. You can tell by the labels, really dark, kind of techie sound. Roller isn't a genre, but you know what I'm saying, like that kind of style. Yeah. Next, 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 next. We got A Fruit from St. Petersburg, Russia. I really like what she's doing. She's uh, signed to med school, but has tracks on Tech Life, Cosmic Bridge. She's in like, I would say the DMB spectrum, you know, the bass music, whatever you want to call it. Like she is like really centered around like 160 around there, that kind of stuff. Um, footwork, juke, future jungle, stuff like that. Really forward thinking, like in, IDM, intelligent dance, uh, intelligent dance music, that kind of stuff. Um, it's really, really cool. I really like how intricate and there's a really good t uh, attention to detail. Put it like that. It's also a master and engineer and composer for video games, I think. So really multi-talented, just great. I think you guys should really get to know her and her music. But yeah, get to know her. Next, we have Sweet P from London. Really awesome. Her last tune on the Hospital on the Beach compilation. It's one of my favorites right now. And I can't think of the name. Doesn't mean it's any less of my favorite. But yeah, she has releases on Hospital, Dispatch, Terabyte. Another person with a really dark kind of rolling sound. I don't, I don't know what to call it. Like, maybe not grungy is word, but that's kind of like texturally how her stuff sits a little bit. I don't know, some jungle in there. Yeah, really good. I like her DJing as well. I like her selection, her the way she does everything. A lot of variety, I think. I don't know. That's Sweet Pea. Get to know. All right, we got Reed Speed from over here in LA. Yeah, if you don't know, she, she's been a name, big name for a long time. Last time she was in town, I didn't. I don't think I got to go. She's a owner of Play Me Recordings. Um, she has releases on Viper, a bunch of stuff as well. Re another person I think that's really, the music is very like dance floor, big room oriented. You know, just kind of, I want to say just going for it. Like, it's really high energy stuff, and I really like it. And she's also a great DJ, like a great turntablist. You should really, like, just pause this, go watch a video, just any. <laughs> it's a really good DJ. Yeah, that's, uh, it's Reed Speed. 
All right, next, Flava D from uh, London. Now, well, she's coming in the drum and bass. That's why I'm including them. It's still bass music. It's still the this whole spec. It's drums and bass. She fits, right? Anyway, so our latest release, DMB releases have been on hospital, but you probably know her from like being a baseline um, UK garage. I know it's garage for all you people over there but us Americans say garage for whatever reason. <laughs> but uh, you probably know from that, her uh, label Butters, there are nights and stuff over there. She's a really good DJ as well. She has released on Night Bass, which is um, the AC Slater's label. I'm not sure, I not, can't remember right now. But yeah, if you don't know her, you should. So far with like two or three tracks, at least releases in, it's gonna be an issue. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see if she comes up with next. And I feel like we all should be familiar with her. So that's Flavor D. I'm gonna say it again, get to know. All right, next we have Stacy from Johannesburg, South Africa. I found her some time ago on SoundCloud. Just, she's really good. I really like what she's doing. She had no releases yet, not that I know of, not that she's published out. I feel like her music is really, it's kind of liquidy. It's kind of techy, just really minimal at times, high energy. I feel like she'd be a great, like a great addition to like Alex Perez's label, 1985 or Critical Dispatch, maybe like Flex Out, something like that. Yeah, you guys should go look look for her. She's a really good DJ as well. She, and multi-instrument, ah, multi-instrumentalist. Plays a guitar, piano. You should really get to know her. This is a long video. <laughs> All right, we have Iris from Seattle. Yeah, they have releases on like CIA, Ninja Tune, Dispatch. Really techy, dark sound. It's awesome. Yeah. Next we have Dilemma from Brighton in the UK. She's got releases on Skankin' Bass, Flight Pattern, Solvent. I think she remixed one of Poland Bryson's songs. Um, yeah, like really soulful liquid. Yeah, it's Dilemma. Okay, we got Mantra from London. Got releases on Rupture, AKO, Repertoire, Dark, Minimal, Jungle flavored inspired tunes. Really good. Really good. I need some new words other than really good. Got DJ Rap next from LA. He's been in the game for so long. Basically legend, living legend at this point. Great DJ, great producer. Got releases, proper talent, got Jungle Cakes, Get Hype. Like I said before, Jungle, um, Hard Step, Big Room Style, DMB. You go all the way through a discography back to the 90s. You're gonna see like so much progression and just so much quality out of her. So yeah, get to know her. Next, we got Ms. Isis from New Haven. She uh, runs the kind of a collective of DMB girls, which is mostly focused on North America and North America, basically US and Canada, kind of forming a group of female drum and bass producers, um, DJs, putting on shows, that kind of thing, helping each other promote. It's really cool, really awesome thing I think she's doing. Jungle, that's her, that's her sound. If I think you can, if you want to summarize it, really, a lot of good jungle stuff, like uh, modern sounding, jungle old, or not old, but you know, back in the day sounding. She's had a long career, she's a really good DJ, very prolific. Next, we got Lizzie from London. She isn't very active anymore, at least where I can found, but she's got a lot out. I think you should still know her. So she's got releases on Shogun, Viper, um, Shogun's uh, sister label, SGN LTD, Liquid, Dance Floor Sounding Tunes, Really good. Um, you got Jin, or Dijin, I don't, D-J-I-N-N. -N. Like I said, I'm a mess up some names, I'm sorry. From Manchester. <laughs> Releases on Formless, Foundation X, Rupture. Really like jungle, hardcore sound, you know, or that like 90s influence sound, I think. Um, otherwise, it's kind of minimal, kind of dark, exactly kind of what you expect by those. She's really good. All right, next, we got Molly Collins from Kent. Really great DJ, hosts uh, her own show on, what is it, Represent? Runs her, I think it's her label, I'm not sure. But uh, Write Good Record, she doesn't have any releases just yet. I think she has one coming out at the end of this week. Really good DJ. Um, dance Floor Tunes are, I think, her, like, what she plays is like a lot of like big dance floor stuff. Um, a lot of jump up, for sure. Her tunes are about that same, um, the same style, the same sound. If you don't know who she is, Get to know she's really been coming up in the last year and like i said she get to know her all right next we have miss represent for northampton in the uk i think i pronounced that right northampton just one word northamptonshire northamptonshire i'm sorry 
Oh, she has her own label, Slice Note Recordings, and releases on like Formation. Really heavy, heavy tunes. Dance floor, neurofunk, that kind of thing. Really heavy, high energy, just loud, in your face, going for it. You will, high energy. You will not be able to relax listening to her music. It is just, you gotta get up and move, you know? Let's misrepresent. All right, next. This is gonna be one of those names I I'm pronounced wrong, probably. We got Euphonic, Euphonique, um, probably Euphonic. That makes more sense. But from London. Got uh, a bunch of releases on our own label, Subwoofer. Uh, releases on Born On Road, Audio Attic. Um, Heavy, jump up to jump up inspired music or just jump up, sorry. Minimal times, jungly, definitely really uh gritty, very I don't know, aggressive. She's really good DJ as well. I think she DJed one of the smaller let it roll stages. Maybe I should know this, like I keep saying. Or maybe it was hospital. Whatever event happened like the past few weeks. She's been posting a lot about it, it's really awesome. Euphonic, I hope that's how you say it. Keep doing what you're doing. Everyone else, get to know. All right, we got Alien from New Zealand. I think it's how you pronounce it. Releases on Totally Roasted. I think that might, it's label she's either runs or I couldn't find enough ties to put it all together. But yeah, like a jungly sound. We're gonna say future jungle, that kind of thing. Half time at times, really like dark moody rollers, that kind of thing. But if that's your cup of tea, check out Alien. Really awesome. Last but not least, and should have been at the top of the list because that's who I think of all the time. Legend in the game, Hospital Records, some of the most, the hugest releases, most mat, just, but you got B Complex from Bratislava, Slovakia. You don't know her tune, Beautiful Eyes, just amazing, like classics on Hospital, classics on their, in their own right, in drum and bass. Yeah, really good DJ as well. Really good um, advocate for the LGBTQ community as well. I feel like that's really awesome. And get to know her. Yeah, so that's 20 female drum and bass producers I feel like you should know. There are a lot more, but these are who I could find at this point. If there's anyone I missed, anything I got wrong in here, information wise, please let me know so I can correct it. So that the people who do find this video or the accompanying article will be able to find you your information, their information, and find the music. Promoters, if you find this, book these women. Book them, please. Don't make them afterthoughts, you know? They deserve just as much credit as any of us guys do that do half as much work. There's a hospital has a Facebook group for anyone interested in joining the drum bass scene. Maybe you don't know, maybe you're trying. And there's like thousands of members. So there's clearly a lot more people I can be talking about. And I just, you guys are keeping things under wraps. I understand when it's your time to shine, you'll come out and I will, trust me, I'll find you. I look for music, I look for new people every day. When I find you, I'm gonna make another video because I'm gonna like it. If I like whatever you're putting out, somebody else will. And I hope I can be an advocate for you to get heard, for all of you to get heard, for anyone really. That's a goal. That's what that's what all I'm trying to do. I don't know. I hope this comes across like that. This isn't about me. This is about people I feel like you should know. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would love if you left the if you subscribe, love to like. Dislike if you didn't like it. Nah, leave a comment if I missed anybody. If you feel like I could, uh, if there's any more information I missed, if anything I got wrong, please, please let me know. And uh, yeah, it was a bit long, but I felt like it was important. It's important for us all to know. Again, this is just some producers. Well, oh, there's so many good DJs. That'll be another video. And then vocalists, definitely another one because there's so many great vocalists. But yeah, hope you uh, learned something. Hope maybe you found your new favorite producer. But uh, that's all for me. I'm Winslow, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.